Hello, Matu Jameer, and you're watching on Real TV's Prime at 9. Now, headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi urged people not to vote on the basis of community or caste. He said the first phase of elections in Uttar Pradesh has confirmed that PJP will come into power again. Bharatiya Janata Party National President Jakarth Prakash Nada will soon visit Manipur. He will release the party's manifesto for upcoming assembly election. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is also likely to visit the state ahead of polls. In view of the decline in COVID-19 cases, the Election Commission has relaxed the provisions of campaigning in the poll-bound states. In a press release, the Commission said that the ban on campaign timings in poll-bound states will be between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. instead of earlier timings at 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Bharatiya Janata Party President J.P. Nada said the party is a tried and tested party and the name Narendra Modi is a synonym of development. Targeting Charanjit Singh Chani ahead of next week's single-phase assembly elections in Punjab, Union Home Minister and Bharatiya Janata Party leader Amit Shah on Sunday sought to know if the Chief Minister who failed to provide a secure route to Prime Minister Narendra Modi would be able to keep the state safe. Shah also promised that if the PJP-led National Democratic Alliance is voted to power, it would set up branch offices of Narcotics Control Bureau in four districts to curb the menace of drug abuse. The NDA would also constitute an anti-drug task force in all districts, he further said. I have come here when our NDA's NDA is in front of you. But I want to talk more about three of them. Punjab is the Simant Rajya. सुरक्षा पर बात करना चाहता हूं नशे पर बात करना चाहता हूं और किसानों की समस्या में क्रॉप पेटर्न चेंजिंग की बात करना चाहता हूं मित्रों आप मुझे बताइए पंजाब के अंदर कोई लचर सरकार पंजाब और भारत की सुरक्षा कर सकती है क्या जोर से बोलिए कर सकती है क्या ये चन्नी के नेतृत्व में पंजाब सुरक्षित रह सकता है क्या अरे भाई कोई कॉमेडी फिल्म नहीं चलानी है देश चलाना है जरा तो संजीदगी से बात करो धर्म परिवर्तन केवल और केवल कोई रोक सकता है तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी रोक सकती है मित्रों और मैं कह कर जाता हूं पंजाब वालों भारतीय जनता पार्टी आई तो पंजाब के अंदर से धर्म परिवर्तन कन्वर्जन कराने वाले पंजाब के बाहर दिखाई पड़ेंगे मित्रों बाहर दिखाई मित्रों मैंने अभी केजरीवाल का भाषण सुना वो कह रहे हैं कि भाई हम नशे को भगाएंगे अरे केजरीवाल साहब पूरे दिल्ली को शराब में डुबाने के बाद आप पंजाब में आकर कहते हो कि हम नशे से मुक्त करेंगे कर सकते हैं क्या नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने लुधियाने के विकास के लिए भी एक बहुत बड़ा एक्शन प्लान बनाया है अगर डबल इंजन की सरकार बनती है तो लुधियाना जलंधर पटियाला और अमृतसर ये चारों शहरों के इंडस्ट्री फिर से दम दमने लगे फिर से चालू हो और ये विश्व प्रसिद्ध शहर का इंडस्ट्रियल शहर का अपना छवि बनाए रखे इसके लिए कार्य योजना भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने बनाई 
In view of the decline in COVID-19 cases, the Election Commission has relaxed the provisions of campaigning in the poll-bound states. In a press release, the Commission said that the ban on campaign timings in poll-bound states will be between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. instead of earlier timings of 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Political parties and candidates may campaign from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. by following all COVID-appropriate behavior and protocols of State Disaster Management Authority. The Election Commission further added that political parties and candidates are now permitted to hold their meetings and rallies up to maximum of 50% of the capacity of the designated open spaces or the limit prescribed by SDMA. In a sensational case of abduction by militants, three workers involved in the construction of Pumau Langko Road were abducted by 10 NSCNK YA militants at gunpoint from their campsite in Longting District on February 1st. While one of them, Pang Pua Wang Pan, was released after a few hours, the two other hero and coach in, from Assam and Rama Shish Mahato from West Bengal continued to be in captivity of the abductors. Ten days after they were allegedly abducted by members of the extremist National Socialist Council of Nagaland, Kaplang, Yung Aung from Arunachal Pradesh's Longting district, two workers involved in the construction of the Pumao Longka Road in Longting were released late on Saturday, officials confirmed on Sunday. As per initial details available, both the workers were taken to Myanmar by the abductors. They have informed that they were treated well during the past few days stated Bani Lego, Deputy Commissioner of Longding. Lego informed that both coach and Mahato would be handed over to the families once the formalities by the police and security forces are over. Various factions of NSCN are active in Longding, Tirap and Changlang district of Arunachal Pradesh, which share boundary with Myanmar. The Utupi District Administration has imposed prohibitory orders under Section 144 of CRPC in areas around all high schools in the district from Monday till February 19. The move comes up as a part of a precautionary measure as the schools are reopening Monday after the holiday declared by the state government in view of the hijab rope. The order will be in effect from 6 a.m. on February 14 to 6 p.m. on February 19. The order has been clamped following a request by the District Superintendent of Police to Deputy Commissioner M. Kurma Rao to impose Section 144 within a 200-meter radius around all the high schools. As per the order, assembly of five or more members around the school perimeter is not allowed. All sorts of gatherings, including protests and rallies, are banned. Inciting slogans, songs and speeches are strictly banned. Day ahead of high schools across the state up to class 10 that were shut in the wake of the hijab row, reopening Karnataka Chief Minister Baswaraj Bumai on Sunday expressed confidence that peace and normalcy will prevail. He also said that a decision regarding reopening of pre-university and degree colleges will be taken after assessing the situation. Speaking to reporters here, he said that he has asked education ministers to submit a report after examining the situation regarding reopening of pre-university and degree colleges. Based on assessment, a meeting will be held and a decision will be taken. Regarding reports about involvement of certain organizations and foreign hands being the hijab row, the chief minister in response to a question said, such reports in the media and social media are being taken note by our investigating officials who are also gathering information on their end. Following the court order, the government on February 10 had decided to resume classes for high school students up to class 10 from February 14 and the pre-university and degree colleges thereafter. In the wake of reopening of schools, the government had last week issued a series of directions to district administrations aimed at maintaining peace and that the high court order is not violated. Bumai, who also holds the finance portfolio and will be presenting his first budget early next month, said all-round development of the state is in his mind. Assam Chief Minister Manta Biswasama on February 12 hit out at Congress leader Rahul Gandhi over his comments on India and called him a modern-day Jinnah. It seems that for him, India is only from Gujarat to West Bengal. I've been observing what he has been saying in the last 10 days. Once he said that India is a union of states. Another time he said that India is from Gujarat to Bengal. Assam CM said, so I am saying that the ghost of Jinnah has entered into Rahul Gandhi. I said this in Uttarakhand. Rahul Gandhi's language is similar to that of Jinnah before 1947. In a way, Rahul Gandhi is a modern-day Jinnah, he added.
देखिए राहुल गांधी देखता है कि गुजरात से बंगाल में ही भारत है तो ऐसा थोड़ा लास्ट टेन डेज से मैं देख देख रहा हूँ कि राहुल गांधी जो भाषा का प्रयोग कर रहा है एक बार बोलता है कि इंडिया इज ए यूनियन ऑफ स्टेट एक बार बोलता है कि भारत का मतलब गुजरात से बंगाल तो एक काल में उत्तराखंड में भी बोल के आया हूँ कि जिन्ना का भूत घुस गया है राहुल गांधी में जो जिन्ना 1947 का पहले जो भाषा का प्रयोग करता था अभी राहुल गांधी वही भाषा का प्रयोग करता है एक प्रकार से मॉडर्न डेज का राहुल गांधी Uttarakhand Chief Electoral Officer Sov Janya informed that all arrangements have been made at polling booths of the state ahead of the assembly polls. We are fully prepared. All arrangements have been made in 11,697 booths, and a polling party has been sent to Uttarakashi and Pitokar, and the rest will be sent today and tomorrow. Security forces have been deployed at all places, she said. तैयारी है हमारा 11,697 जो बूथ है वो सभी एश्योर मिनिमम फैसिलिटीज जो देना है वहाँ पे कमीशन द्वारा जो निर्देश दिए गए हैं उसके अनुसार हमने कार्यवाही किया है हमारा जो पूरा पोलिंग पार्टीज हैं तो उसका भी फॉर्मुलेशन हो चुके हैं जो P-3 मतलब पोलिंग डे से तीन दिन पहले जो डिस्पैच होते हैं तो वो सभी डिस्पैच हो चुके हैं जो 35 फाइव पोलिंग पार्टीज थे उत्तरकाशी और पिथौरागढ़ का और जो P-2 पे है वो 1400 फोर हंड्रेड एंड जो बूथ्स हैं वहाँ का पोलिंग पार्टी आज डिस्पैच होंगे और जो बाकी है वो कल डिस्पैच होंगे तो हमारा पूरा तैयारी इलेक्शन के लिए है हमारा फोर्स डिप्लॉयमेंट सभी जगह पे चुका है इंडिया रिपोर्टेड 44,877 फ्रेश कोविड-19 केसेस एंड 684 डेथ्स इन द लास्ट 24 आवर्स 11 परसेंट लोअर देन येस्टरडे इस 50,407 केसेस डेली पॉजिटिविटी रेट ऑफ़ 3.17 परसेंट इस मार्जिनली लोअर देन येस्टरडे द वीकली पॉजिटिविटी रेट ऑफ़ इस 4.46 परसेंट एट लीस्ट One lakh seventeen thousand five hundred and ninety-one have been recovered in the last twenty-four hours, and one hundred and seventy-two point eight one crore vaccine doses have been administered so far. Booster doses are being given to frontline and healthcare workers and those above sixty with comorbidities. Vaccines for children between five and fifteen years will be rolled out as soon as the center gets recommendation to the effect from a group of experts. Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia said on Saturday. Ahead of second phase of Uttar Pradesh Assembly elections, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on February 12 held a public rally in Kannauj. While addressing at the public rally, he urged people not to vote on the basis of community or caste. The first phase of the elections has confirmed that PJP will come into power again. Do not divide your vote on the basis of community or caste, said PM Modi. I will say one thing to you. UP is... लड़ाई इस बात की नहीं है कि किसकी सरकार बनेगी या किसकी सरकार नहीं बनेगी पूरा यूपी जानता है पूरा देश जानता है कि आएगी तो भाजपा ही आएंगे तो योगी ही और पहले चरण के चुनाव ने ये पक्का कर दिया है कि आएगी तो भाजपा ही आएंगे तो योगी ही मुझे खुशी है कि यूपी के लोग माफियावादियों दंगावादियों के खिलाफ एकजुट होकर वोट कर रहे हैं Chief Minister of Manipur and Biran Singh on February 12 informed that party president Jagat Prakash Nada will visit the state to release the party manifesto ahead of assembly elections. PJP president JP Nada will soon visit the state and will release the party manifesto for the state assembly election. PM Modi will also visit the state however the schedule is not confirmed yet said Biran Singh. I will national presidents uh, will be visiting uh, shortly within uh, weeks and he will publish the manifesto and the campaign will also be fully launched on that very particular day. What Now, about the Prime Minister? Prime Minister also visiting, Honorable Prime Minister also visiting, but uh, till now the schedule is not fixed. Okay, last, question, last question, 
there has been a wild allegations by MPP that BJP is using the SOO group to threaten their candidate. How far this uh, statement can be regarded as true and, uh, and what is your opinion on this? Regard? No, that is an allegation. Uh, uh, in, uh, you know, our uh, to our candidate. Amid the ongoing controversy of hijab, Union Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment of India, Ramdas Adawali, on Sunday, February 13, said that religion should not be taken to schools. My suggestion is that religion should not be taken to schools, Adawali told media today. The hijab protests began on February 4 at the Government Girls PU College in Utupi District in Karnataka when some students alleged that they had been barred from attending classes wearing hijab. Uh, that is uh, hijab is also there, and uh, my suggestion is this: uh, religion should not be go in the school, in the education. That is also my the suggestion, and go, uh, the Supreme Court is also not ready to give the, the judgment on this uh, issue. Therefore, religion should not be go in the uh, e e education. That, that is also my suggestion. Ahead of Punjab Assembly elections, the Partha Janata Party President J.P. Nada on February 12th lauded the work of the party and stated that PJP is a tried and tested party and the name Narendra Modi is a synonym of development. Punjab had 18 lakh scholarships in 2014. PM Modi had increased this to 31 lakh. In Punjab, about 1,517 new schools have been built, six Navodaya Vidyalas were opened after 2014. A total of 14 sports centers were also built, said J.P. Nada. The PJP chief added, give us one chance and we will work in Punjab the same way we did in Haryana, Gujarat and UP, he said. Delhi Chief Minister and Amadmi Party National Convener Avin Kejwal on February 13 appealed to the people of Goa and Uttarakhand to vote for his new party a day ahead of assembly elections, promising to deliver welfare and development related work. I want to appeal to the people of Uttarakhand that in Uttarakhand Congress has been 10 years and BJP has been 10 years. गोवा में कांग्रेस ने 27 साल राज किया बीजेपी ने 15 साल राज किया इन दोनों पार्टियों ने लूटने के सिवा कोई काम नहीं किया आज गोवा की जो इतनी बुरी हालत है वो इन दोनों पार्टियों की वजह से है उत्तराखंड की जो इतनी बुरी हालत है वो इन दोनों पार्टियों की वजह से है अगर आप दोबारा इनमें इनको वोट देंगे तो ये ऐसे ही चलता रहेगा सिचुएशन ऐसे ही चलती रहेगी जिंदगी ऐसे ही चलती रहेगी ऐसे ही लूटते रहेंगे ये लोग इस बार एक नई पार्टी आई है आम आदमी पार्टी जिसने दिल्ली में बहुत अच्छा काम करके दिखाया है दिल्ली में एक कट्टर ईमानदार सरकार दी दिल्ली में स्कूल ठीक किए हॉस्पिटल ठीक किए बिजली ठीक की एक मौका आप आम आदमी पार्टी को देके देखो द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑन संडे अनाउंस द अप्रूवल ऑफ द अम्ब्रेला स्कीम फॉर मॉडर्नाइजेशन एंड इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ पुलिस फोर्सेज इन स्टेट्स इन यूनियन टेरिटरीज फॉर द पीरियड ऑफ 2021 टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स द स्कीम कंप्राइजेज ऑल रेलिवेंट सब स्कीम्स विद अ टोटल सेंट्रल फाइनेंशियल आउटले ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव करोर अंडर द एम स्कीम प्रोविजन हैज बीन मेड फॉर इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी लॉ एंड ऑर्डर अडॉप्टिंग अडॉप्शन ऑफ मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी बाई पुलिस एसिस्टिंग स्टेट्स इन यूनियन टेरिटरीज फॉर नारकोटिक्स कंट्रोल एंड स्ट्रेंथनिंग द क्रिमिनल जस्टिस सिस्टम बाई डेवलपिंग a robust forensic setup in the country. The centre will provide Rs 4,846 crore for the modernisation of state police forces. The government has approved 2,080.50 crore under the central scheme for the modernisation of forensic capacities. An amount of Rs 18,839 crore has been allocated for security-related expenditure for the Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir, insurgency-affected northeastern states and left-wing extremism-affected areas. To further pursue this accomplishment, six LWA-related schemes with central outlay of Rs 8,689 crore have been approved. The government has cleared Rs 350 crore for rising of India Reserve Battalions, 
India Reserve Battalions, it has extended the central sector schemes of assistance to states and union territories for narcotics control with outlay of rupees 50 crore. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.